So I was going through the Nintendo eShop the other day and I was uh, looking up for a new game to play. In fact, a, a game I was going to review just decided to, to be delayed, so I'm not going to bother with that for uh, the time being. So I thought, you know, just look on the eShop, see if there's anything else to play through. And this little gem sort of popped out to me. And I was honestly surprised by it. It's a cheap little game, but I don't know, something about it called out to me. So naturally, I picked it up. And uh, here we are with the review. Graceful Explosion Machine is a 2D side-scrolling spaceship shooter much in the same vein as the classic arcade game Defender. Here you must progress through level to level destroying all of the enemy ships that you come across in waved base gameplay. While you'll play through the game you'll be able to utilize various different weapon types to dispose of your foes. A standard blaster that overheats if you use it too long, and various other weapons that utilize an energy gauge, such as the energy sword to swipe away close enemies and, uh, uh, and close by uh, enemy attacks, a massive laser blast to destroy stronger mooks, and a missile barrage to devastate anything nearby. Which needless to say, makes me feel all tingly inside. Working out when the best time to use your weapons is critical to successfully playing the game, and you will need to keep an eye out constantly to your surroundings and energy gauges as you play through each of the stages. In fact, the game is surprisingly quite relaxing to play as you plow down enemy waves. However, this is a pretty demanding title in regards to keeping alert, because you will have three total hit points throughout the course of each stage, and you'll be pretty damn surprised how quickly that can drain via the enemies that you don't notice nearby you in the scenery. As you destroy each of the enemies, you can receive extra HP drops on rare occasions to help in the case that this happens. And for every single enemy that you do kill, you will be able to pick up small NG droplets to help keep your weapon gauge filled up as much as possible. Graphically, the game itself is absolutely gorgeous, with a stunning art style where for the most part everything is crisp and clear to look at. However, despite how nice this game looks, it does suffer from one major issue, which is the sheer volume of stuff that can happen on screen at any given time. Throughout the first few levels, things are pretty easy, but fairly quickly you can potentially find the screen swarming with a ridiculous number of enemies, which serves as a double-edged sword. Blasting through these can be extremely satisfying and fun to pull off, and simply watching the carnage unfold is a sight to behold. But the problem here is that on occasions you can find that there is usually sometimes too much happening on screen at a given time. And I have simply found that I got hit from enemies that I didn't notice or bullets that's blending amongst the explosions or swarm of enemies that fill up the screen, and basically I found things to occasionally get a little bit too hectic for my brain to register what is happening. Despite this though, I still found myself having a blast with the general gameplay, but every now and then I'll die from simply not being able to tell what is going on at a given time. And it feels like I was killed as a result of simply being overwhelmed with too much to take in visually, as opposed to being killed from a mistake that I made on my own fairly. Though don't get me wrong, that has happened quite a lot. Outside of the visuals department, the game also sports a very nice soundtrack that oddly enough I found surprisingly relaxing to listen to. And while I don't find it particularly memorable, it's definitely well made and offers some pretty nice tunes throughout. And I find there is also quite a bit of replayability in this title too, simply due to the fact the game offers a ranking system that grades you on how well you do, as well as offering leaderboard functionality in case you want to try and get a higher score and try to beat your friends or other randoms online and get the best score possible. Ultimately, Graceful Explosion Machine is a brilliant game through and through, and also a brilliant name for a game. Christ, I love the name of this game. Um, it has brilliant visuals, very crisp and clear, and has a lovely art style. I love the way it looks. The soundtrack is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Not very memorable, I don't think, but you know, when you're playing through the game, it's a really relaxing soundtrack and it really does suit the tone for the game, which I'm honestly surprised by. I didn't think it would suit it, but there we are. Good soundtrack all around. I enjoy it. And uh, it's a very replayable game, which is pretty damn good. And considering this is 
currently Switch exclusive. I don't know if it will be on other systems, but currently Switch exclusive is the perfect game for the Nintendo Switch because it's the type of game you can easily pick up, play for an hour or so, maybe half hour, maybe even 10 minutes at a time, put down, which is perfect for like portable gaming. So overall, nice cheap little title, brilliant through and through, and I heavily recommend it for anyone to pick up. The only sort of issues I have with the game is obviously the, me being overwhelmed by swarms of enemies going bleh all into my face, but um, if that doesn't bug you whatsoever, you shouldn't have too much of a trouble with this game, and uh, it's definitely one I recommend. So with that, that's it for the review, so thank you all for watching, hope you all enjoyed, don't be sheepish people, and I'll catch you all again. Bye!